In our community practice residency at Creighton University and Creighton Campus Pharmacy, our residents will really experience a wide variety of opportunities. Our main clinic site is located within the same building as our Creighton Campus Pharmacy. So our residents work with medical residents, they work with pharmacists, they work with physical therapists, they work with occupational therapists, they may work with social workers, they work with many interpreters in pharmacy management with a preceptor, complete a publication, they will do grand rounds presentations. In our facility, our residents get to work with a wide variety of patients, which includes many refugee patients. Beyond the 12 required rotations that our residents go through, there are also some elective rotations, and those include time in the dental clinic, in other ambulatory care clinics. We really want our residents to be able to help patients. We want them to be able to help them with taking their medications, with side effects of medications, with maybe packaging their medications so they're more adherent. My residency has been a great experience of multiple different opportunities. I've been able to rotate through different community pharmacies. I've been in different ambulatory care clinics, specifically the resident clinic here at the main campus pharmacy, as well as the endocrinology clinic. I feel very welcomed when I came here. All of the faculty, the preceptors, the providers, residents, everybody that we work with is very welcoming and very open to working with pharmacists. In my block rotation for community pharmacy, I will go to the pharmacies and I'll work with the staff there, verifying prescriptions, filling prescriptions, uh, working with patients, um, doing uh, complete medication reviews, and then I'm also working with the students as well. And then if I'm in a clinic, um, then I'm doing a lot of day-to-day -day activities in the clinic, which include reviewing patients and looking at their medication, seeing if I have any interventions per for the provider to give the provider recommendations on any medication changes. A lot of the providers will refer me patients that maybe can't afford their medications. This residency really helps you be an in independent learner, but my preceptors are always there if I have a question. They encourage me to think outside the box and to think on my own, but if I have any issues, I know that I can always go to them. And then it really makes me realize what it takes to be a pharmacist in the real world as opposed to what we are um, presented in school. I think a really unique aspect of this residency that I was surprised about was how much we work with the students. So that really helps continue my education as well. And then it kind of helps with the transition of me being a student to an actual pharmacist and mentor. One of our experiences is MTM or Medication Therapy Management. It's run by a couple of the pharmacy faculty and it's a required rotation for the Creighton University uh, pharmacy students and so what we do is we go to the center and we call patients with the students and then once we feel comfortable calling patients and doing uh, medication reviews for those patients then we can kind of progress and be more of a mentor to the students and we will listen to their calls give them feedback um, so you get a good view of both sides as a patient care person, but then as well as kind of that mentor and the faculty member as well. And that affiliation with Creighton University, you're helping teach some of their pharmacy students in their lab courses, so you're interacting with them on a regular basis and helping shape the future of pharmacists. Part of this residency is developing or enhancing a service, and so what I've done at the Creighton Campus Pharmacy is I have um, increased Shingrix vaccination rates and we've partnered with the Family Medicine Clinic to uh, vaccinate the clinic's patients and uh, protect their patients from developing shingles. My research project is focused on bubble packaging medications for patients to see if that helps improve their adherence, which then can help improve clinical outcomes such as blood pressure, um, hemoglobin A1C, and cholesterol levels. My research experience was pretty much non-existent. I didn't do any research in pharmacy school, um, so I really had no idea what um, to do as far as my research project, um, but something really unique about the Creighton uh, University residency is that they do have a specified research mentor that really 
is there to help you identify your subject or your research project and then really helps you every step of the way. The research project really enhances the residency program by adding in a component that's really complementary to the clinical skills that they're gaining. So it gets them to think about these clinical topics in a little bit of a different way. And my hope as the research mentor is that when they finish out the residency year, that they're really able to take those research concepts and maybe even just do a small project within their practice to improve their clinical care or clinical outcomes of their patients. We work to construct the best possible uh, research project and research experience for them based on their needs and their interests. My goal for the resident is really just to help them feel confident in this environment in an ambulatory care world. I think it's a very supportive environment that is very focused on the patient as a person. So we take into account the Jesuit values that are withheld within our academic curriculum and we do translate that into how we care for our patients too. So we're thinking about them not only in do the medication recommendations that we that we make for the patient follow the textbook, but do they fit in the patient's life? The preceptor is really here to be uh, really a supervisor and kind of a mentor for the resident. So I really function under the philosophy that the residents should be as autonomous as they possibly can be. So I give them a lot of freedom to manage patients independently, to work with the providers on their own. I'm really here to offer guidance to them, offer expertise if they have questions about their patients. And here we have an endocrinology in an internal medicine outpatient practice. We do a lot of management for chronic diseases, particularly diabetes. We also do um, education for diabetes self-management training, so one-on-one -on -one diabetes education. And we also um, train patients on their insulin pumps, continuous glucose monitors, kind of all things diabetes. Where we're really focusing on is application, is how to deal with patients, is how to work with providers, those types of skills that you learn really from practicing and getting that significant work. And, and on a day-to-day -day basis, when they're doing it over and over, the residents really in their rotation feeling a lot more confident. One of the benefits that I saw in this residency when I was applying is the fact that you do have another co-resident with you. So you have someone who is right there with you side by side. You guys are going through the same experiences. So you're able to bounce ideas off of each other. And then also a lot of the Creighton preceptors have completed this residency. So they know what we're doing. They know the expectations of us. So they understand some of the things that we're being asked to do and they're able to help guide us along the way and help make us better. Our residents, once they complete the program here at Creighton University and Creighton Campus Pharmacy, we hope they become great pharmacists. A lot of them are working in community pharmacy management. They are working in ambulatory care positions. They are working in academia. My goal at the end of my residency program is to obviously enhance my clinical knowledge and being able to work well in a different variety of settings, whether that be in the community pharmacy, in a ambulatory care clinic, um, or in a specialty pharmacy area, just being able to really fit into wherever I may end up and being able to serve my patients in a wide variety. There's always gonna be an opportunity for you to maybe try something that you hadn't done before or something that maybe you're not super comfortable with, but my advice would be to just give it a try. You always have your preceptors there for guidance and for help, and it's the perfect time to kind of get out of your comfort zone and maybe Try something that you wouldn't have normally wanted to do previously, but you might actually find out that you really enjoyed that experience. There are a lot of opportunities in this residency, and it's just a matter of taking advantage of those. There's just a lot of outpatient opportunities, and to really take full advantage of those and get a really good idea of what kind of pharmacist you want to be in the future.